Hello, I'm Paul Hand and welcome badminton fans to the 111th Yonex All England Open Badminton Championships from the stunning Arena Birmingham in the middle of the city centre and indeed the middle of the country. The world's oldest and most prestigious badminton tournament, wowing fans and championing legends since 1899. Widely regardless as the equivalent of Wimbledon in tennis, we're closing in on the business end of the tournament. Who will extend their stay to the weekend? So much great badminton to come, it's only day three. And indeed, here's our quarterfinals Friday's orders of play with uh, our first four matches featuring Japanese athletes. First up, an all-seeded women's doubles clash. How will home team Birch and Smith fare against the tournament favourites and defending champions for Kashima and Hirota? Then men's singles world number one, Kento Momoto, with a really first uh, stern test, taking on last year's semi-finalist and this year's sixth seed, Li Zhijia. A mouth-watering all-seeded Anglo-Japanese men's doubles quarterfinal featuring Third seeds, Kamira and Sonoda, taking on the eighth seeded Englishman, Ellis and Smith. Then men's doubles defending champions and fourth seeds, Endo and Watanabe, take on powerful, much improved Danish team of Christiansen and Nora. And uh, one of the form horses coming in, Mia Blitchfield, squares off with All England twice beaten finalist, Intanon. Then your eyes draw to match eight, a repeat of the women's singles 2018 semi final, Yamaguchi against Sindhu. And those singles matches, five to seven, featuring three Thai standouts Intanon, Ongbam Rumpan, and Tamisan. Well, he'll have his, his hands full with the, the men's singles defending champion Axelson to try and counter. Japanese players feature unsurprisingly in six of our ten feature matches on quarterfinals Friday. So in all, there are 20 quarterfinals, and of course we're featuring 10 of them. There's the trophy being brought out by one of our kind volunteers, Hassan Malik. That's what they're playing for, and some of that total prize money fund of 850,000 US dollars. Well, there's the draw for the women's doubles up first, and top seeds right at the top of the draw there. Fukushima and Hirota taking on Chloe Birch and Lauren Smith, the seventh seed. And of course, the Japanese have got three seeds in the quarterfinals. You can see there Matsuyama and Shida and Matsumoto and Nagahara as well. Such a force. But still, also three European teams surviving as well. That's encouraging. Here come our players. Here we are then, head to head. You can see that Fukushima and Hirota lead the head to head 3 0. But I can tell you that uh, Chloe Birch and Lauren Smith have had really tight matches. They uh, played in the Denmark Open in October of last year, and it was 21 19 in the third and deciding game. So they're getting better with every time they play this Japanese pinnacle pairing, if you will, the world number ones. But it is going to be a very tough ask at least two in white. Black. Shoot. Red for you. Black for you. Red it is. You choice. You service. You de service. You service. Red. Language barrier. You serve. You, you pick service. Yeah. Hey. No. Can't both, sir. Sorry? Okay. Okay. Fine. No. Side. Long serve. Okay, so Lauren Smith will serve after all that. And uh, Yuki Fukushima wants the uh, far end, and she will receive after all of that confusion. <laughs> that was quite funny, wasn't it? Don't see that too often. Anyhow, there we are, that's how the land lies. So, quarterfinals Friday, just about to get underway then. As we take a look at our athletes. Seaka Hirota, 26 years of age. From Kumamoto in Japan. Well, the Japanese can be so proud of uh, the level that they're playing at, but of course they had a walkover in their first match and uh, only have contested one live match here. 27-year-old Yuki Fukushima, her partner, both born in uh, Kumamoto. 
and that is their route through. A win against Boya and Pulsen in the second round, 7 and 15, just 42 minutes required. And a walkover against Effler and her trick, the Germans, in the opening round. So as I say, they just contested one match so far, but it was fairly emphatic. They were pretty business-like yesterday. Now on to these two, the seven seeds from England. Formed partnership in 2016 and after 2017 took a break but uh, then rejoined again late in 2018 at the China Open. It's been all up for these two, hasn't it? The silver medalists at the European Games 2019. They've gone from strength to strength as we take a look at uh, Chloe, partner of Lauren, 25 years of age, born in Preston. Indeed, they're both northern born, but now uh, residing in Milton Keynes. Off that career high ranking of 15th in the world. And of course, Chloe with her singles background uh, tending to play more doubles these days. This is where they're excelling. And their route through, a couple of Indians down, Bart and Gautam on this court yesterday as they played here again. Sorry, the day before, they did contest uh, against two Danes as well, Nielsen and Stefansson yesterday. So fairly emphatic for these two as well. So both teams with straight game wins to get here. Ready to go. And by Seamus Halpin from Ireland for this one. And service judge Christian Johan Johannesson from Denmark. So the media spotlight burning bright then on two Birmingham show courts today. As the weekend approaches, who will extend their stay? This is the tournament that all the players want to win, the big one, the most prestigious, and certainly the oldest tournament as well. Now, are these two undercooked? I doubt it, but it uh, gives hope to English fans. For those of you watching at home, welcome along. You're in the company of Paul Ham. Yeah, shame there's no fans in. It would really buoy the efforts of these two, you sense. Spoke to Chloe in the uh, lift coming down here. She was sort of saying, it does seem really odd without fans, you know. We miss you. Hopefully we'll see you next year. So the seven seeds against the top seeds in women's doubles. First quarter final Ladies of the day. On my right, Yuki Fukushima. Sayaka Hirota, Japan. And on my left, Lauren Smith and Chloe Birch, England. Lauren Smith to serve, to Yuki Fukushima. Laval, play. leave court awareness heightened already for the Japanese as it is for Lauren Smith as well a big opportunity abounds because of course the six seeds from uh, Bulgaria the other Europeans uh, in the quarter down below have been downed yesterday by Konapa and Reddy of India. They will take on Pik and Sinan of the Netherlands to see who will contest against the winner of this one in tomorrow's semi-final. Service over. Two, all. Service over. Three. 
two. And of course, the world number ones for Kashima and Hirota can be the first Japanese women's doubles pair in 48 years to retain their prize if they can get to the title. Quite a coup. Great hustle from the English. Over. Really keen footwork and the coach Nathan Robertson there in your picture momentarily. He'll be delighted at their start. Three, all. Good dig there from Chloe Birch. Oh. Longest rally, just inside 50 shots that one. Well, there we are. Perhaps the lack of match play slightly showing there for the top seeds. A little miscommunication or a lapse in concentration. Don't see that too often. Birch and Smith will be really buoyed by that. Good forcing play, good proactivity at the net from Lauren Smith, backing up the good work from Chloe Birch. Twinning nicely, the English at the moment. Nicely done, nice sense of calm from Hirota. Wow, what a point that was. Such industry from the English as well. Both teams defending the court really well. Well, it is a slightly slower haul on the grand scheme of things, and you'd imagine that would favour the Japanese. They seem to love their defensive prowess, don't they? Lock down those vaults and give very little away when they're really on. But they're being a little slow to settle here. That set, they won that long rally. Over pressing, so easy to do against the world number ones. Six, five. Engineered, good opportunity here. Lauren's been so good up there at the net, much improved area of her game, and of course getting plenty of practice in mixed doubles as well. Brilliant. Service over. Just inside that straight person is good. Some succinct advice from Nathan Robertson. No doubt they've
We've had long discussions about taking on these two. That would be a real coup if they managed to down the world number ones on home turf as well. We can dream. Can they make it a reality? Service over. Seven, six. And Chloe Birch, of course, one of the very few players that uh, competes in singles and doubles. And with Tokyo 2020 coming up, she's a certain where her priorities lie. A singles play, she says, aids her doubles game. straight smash from Lauren Smith to secure the point. That was a great save in mid-rally there from Fukushima as well. Really intense start this, Seven. but vital for the English to keep the scoreline close, you'd imagine. And that's probably part of the conversation from Nathan prior to the match. And if they can do that, the burden of expectation may weigh heavy on the shoulders of the uh, top seats. Slight touch from Fukushima. Eight, seven. Well, we spoke yesterday of how Lauren is sort of growing in decisiveness around the front court and uh, growing with confidence with each rally. Taking the initiative well, and it's a must today. point again from the English. Nine, seven. Wonderful cross smash finish. Oh, shame, what a rally that was. World Badminton at its very best. That was a really terrific point from both teams. So tightly contested. Had it all that rally, didn't it? Eight, nine. And that, you sense a real statement point by the Japanese, winning the longest rally by a fair old margin. 75 shots, that one. Stopping the run of points at three for the English. Service over. 
But it's just those little subtleties, isn't it? You know, mid-match here, you see that one left. Just signs that perhaps they're not as razor sharp as they were. Same dilemma as Mamota, lack of match play. You can practice all you like, but it's very, very difficult to recreate this. They'd have played loads of practice games. Of course they will against the compatriots. And that will be very high caliber practice, make no mistake about it. Nine, ten. But of course they've got that added burden on their shoulders of having to sort of attempt to defend the title of last year, these two. Never easy. Well, that serve was way out from Seaka Hirota. And so Birch and Smith head to the turn in the opening game with a two point cushion, 11 points to nine, encouraging English fans. Nathan Robertson just saying to the English girls that uh, the Japanese are blocking straight at the moment and look for all the pushes to Lauren at the net because there's several of them. They've got a rich variety, the Japanese, and you've got to try and get a step ahead of them in that regard. Super alert from Chloe Birch. Terrific play there. She was electric. Look at this. Quick to follow up as well. judgment from Hirota then. These two teams first met, it was back in 2018 at the Denisa Denmark Open and the English lost 10 and 10 in 31 minutes. And then they met again in the Malaysian Open the year later, 2019, the English lost 13 and 15. But then, last year in the Denmark Open, they lost 21-19 in the deciding game. So they're getting better with every showing against the team in blue. And today, they look like they really do believe. Service over. Certainly played some commanding dictatorial badminton from the offing, the English. And though that misses, that was a, a good miss, if there is such a thing, very proactive from Lauren. Oh, it's missed. How about that? Great effort from Chloe Birch to save that. Paid handsome dividends as well. This is heart and soul from Chloe Birch. Look at that for a dig. Terrific. Goes skidding on the floor, but it was worth it. Hirota just taking her eye off the shuttle momentarily. And these two right up against it at the moment. 
but never, never discount them with all of their experience and accolade. Yuki Fukushima challenges called in. I think this is the first challenge of the match. Let's find out. Has it landed in or out? In. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. tight opening game this in Denmark last year the English took the opening game on that occasion but the Japanese took the next two the English pressing really effectively at the moment Blistering pace on the smash from Chloe Birch. That was really decisive. They've got good pace to their rally. And they're using the court more proactively in defence, for sure. Lauren like that. Good positive body language and demeanour and communication between the two. It's been excellent. These two, by contrast, look a little ruffled. You mean get ready? Five points adrift then, the top seats. Eighteen twelve. Little bit of head scratching in the Japanese camp. The much improved English team are bringing it today. Stalling. 18 12. Play. Terrific from Fukushima. Change. Look at the delicacy on that. High skill level from Yuki. And this was the question I was asking myself coming in. Can the English sting enough without getting hurt in the counter-attacks? Yeah. Japanese speciality is sort of vault-like in that regard in the defence. That was a great 13, example of it right there. That's them at their best. But we've only seen sprinklings of it so far. Are they going to haul this back? Or is it too late? It's got to start here for the Japanese if they want to really contest this opening game. Good leave. Narrowly misses the back line. 14 18. Hey, 
Excellent play and a guttural roar of approval afterwards and Nathan delights in that. Superb, bold and insistent was Lauren Smith there. Look at this. Easy smash kill, but it was the work prior that really set it up. Well engineered. Two points away from the opening game. That run of five straight points from 13-12 up have served the team in white very well. Indeed, they've won six out of the last eight. point 20. the Japanese look really subdued they can normally hang in a rally long enough to draw the error but at the moment they've been making a few unforced errors themselves very uncharacteristic perhaps their veneer is cracking slightly game point six of them for Birch and Smith Terrific opening game for Chloe Birch and Lauren Smith. Combining beautifully, they snatch the opener in some style. 21 points to 14, 23 minutes required. Well, sport at any level is brutal, isn't it? But at this elite performance level, it really is tough. You live on your last performance, and these two have not looked convincing from the off. The English have got their tactics just right, seemingly. Here we are then, start of game two. Birch and Smith, a game to the good. All the changing ends make a significant difference here.
simply stunning badminton from both teams. Fukushima downed, but is she out? Bruising intensity, this. These two teams just punching each other, silly. Really high octane stuff. One off. There's been no let up from these two. They've been utterly focused throughout. Another long rally goes their way this time, and that lonely boy and assist them in their cause. For these two, it's a must win game to keep their title bid alive and their defence. Gorgeous, really well played from Service over. Hirota. Two, one. Now, will that kickstart the Japanese into action? Fukushima there. <laughs> Keeping the pace up in attack. Service What's over. not to love about this? Minded Lauren here. Wonderful point. Just a picture of sheer determination, aren't they, the English at the moment? Such purposeful on court demeanour. Good word from Fukushima. She's already demonstrated how supple she is in defence. Been down on her haunches a couple of times, but this time, no nonsense point from her. Boyd, perhaps by a slight drift on their back now, the Japanese. Nicely done. Service over. Had the wherewithal and sense of calm just to nudge that nicely. Take all the pace out, look, it just dropped like a stone. That was really good from Chloe. These two much improved. That quarterfinal showing at the World Tour Finals recently and the quarterfinal in the Yonex Thailand Open has served them well. Semi-finals, Barcelona, Spain Masters last year, Denmark Open quarters as well. It's all been up for the English team. Really have improved massively and I think the Japanese are reeling under that pressure. Service over. I didn't anticipate this. Five, three. I'm out of my but, of course, they've been in this predicament so many times over the years. And they're Houdini-esque in their escapology. Don't doubt them. Found it. Very nice. Again, misjudgment from Hirota. Four, five. Yeah, these two. You'd put your life in women's doubles on these two, finding the pin code to turn this around. They're the team you'd go with. Thank you. 
how about that for athleticism from Chloe Birch. Nathan's loving that. That was just such physicality from Chloe there. She was springing and bounding all over the court. Look at this. Well done. Brilliant point from both teams. Leaving nothing to chance these two. Another long rally going their way. Very encouraging. Not so for Japanese fans. Body language not looking great right now. They've been stifled, the world number ones. It's been all out attack from Team England here. Can they sustain the question on everybody's lips? Good play from Fukushima. So decorated, you cannot write them off. Never. Good pace, this time from Hirota. They know they've got to up the ante and they're bringing it now. Three. Well, coming in here, I thought with China and Korea having sort of skipped the All England and uh, Indonesia's Polly and Ronaheu out as well, there are sort of a, a higher element of predictability in the women's doubles. Japan with still three strong seeded pairs are really favorites in this discipline, but uh, this has been quite a showing from the English. Apology. Mine elapsed in concentration. They are only human after all. All four players. Radar momentarily off. Can Lauren bring it back? Playing with such fine margins, aren't you? Tempered aggression. That's gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. Fukushima. Really nice. So good at the flat hard drives, aren't they? Both teams, but particularly the Japanese. Now, four point cushion. Will this relax them, enable them to sort of find access to higher gears in their game? They've been under the cost throughout here. Menacing presence of these two, just kind of suffocating them with their all out aggression and great concentration. But they're playing with fine margins, as we mentioned just now. Can they keep it up? She's found that, you know. Service over. Six, nine. Masterful okay. from Lauren Smith here. Held her breath as that one landed. And then a roar of approval. point this one from the Japanese look at the intent all set early from the return of serve and that no nonsense kill
Interval. Well, 37 minutes of spellbinding women's doubles, but it's the Japanese that might be turning this one around. 11-6, they're in the lead in game two after 15 minutes of it. Service over. Seven eleven. Thank you. Nice change up. back points then since the turn for the English indeed three in a row Not sure what this is all about. Perhaps the uh, supervisor's been called. Let's uh, listen up to to this. Well, you heard that, didn't you? Coaches talking when they're about to serve. I guess ultimately, if it happens again. It might result in a point penalty.
brilliant. Changing the attack speeds and lines so well, these two. 10, 12. Reminder of just how good they are. Yeah, he was the uh, culprit, wasn't he, earlier? It's be hard to contain yourself as a an anxious, enthusiastic coach, none more passionate. Just a reminder of why this is the toughest task in women's doubles, trying to turn over the world number ones. 14, 10. Down through the corridor of doubt. First time that's happened today. So Japan with the comfort of a four point cushion. We spoke earlier, didn't we, in game one about the slim margins. Matches turn on shots like that. A lot more breathing room now for these two. Consecutive Japanese points delighting their fans back home. String all over that warp black -like speed from Long Goran Smith at the net there. Close that down, got the shuttle at its apex. Look at this. Look at the conviction. Fabulous. Pouncing all over that. Fukushima furious with herself. Why did I put it there? The perils of not playing enough matches. All this sort of stuff, as we said, can just kind of turn on a knife edge. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
was a good save from uh, Chloe in the end, but it's kind of behind her. And Yuki 18, Fukushima, 12. so experienced, she sensed that instantly. Look at this, look at her clothes here. What a great camera angle. Terrific, so alert. She's got that still-eyed gaze, hasn't she, of a woman that's absolutely in the zone right now. Has to be, there's no wriggle room. Well, it looks increasingly like we're going to be treated to a third and deciding game. Seven points between these two teams with the Japanese top seeds now looking good to rebound into this one. Finding far more answers right now, the team in blue. It's richly deserved, isn't it? They really did play well in that second game. And Fukushima and Hirota level the score. And we are going to get a well-deserved deciding game. Don't go anywhere. あいてやられたらやられたどんどん追い込まれて追い込まれて全部受け身になっていくから特に広田の場合自分を避けやるそれ待ち最初は待ちかけるまあ後半自分思い出してどうやって成功したねすぐ切り替えてなこうちゃん
two, Stop. one. Look a little bit more assertive now, don't they? When they were a little downbeat at the end of that opening game, they look far from it now, anything but. There's the defensive ingenuity from the team in blue. Three, one. Just out. Beg your pardon, it was right on the line. What am I saying? It was a squeal of delight I heard. I thought it was a call. Yeah, bang on. insisted on a confident start to game three. Their coach. Fukushima just stalling a little, suggesting there's some beads of sweat on the court. And they're playing the match on their terms. They're so good at that, aren't they? Stalling. This is good from the English, much needed. Momentum sort of sliding away from them momentarily, but a couple of back-to-back -back points here, very significant. Well, so determined to keep it tight. It was a fault in the end, or an error, right? Oh, he didn't quite get hold of that and of course Hirata keen to just make the shuttle into the hole on the court the intent was there well set up by Lauren look at that didn't quite come out in the middle of the string bit with a long rally this time going the way of the Japanese they've had the momentum for sure over the last 10 minutes or so as we approach the hour mark, 57 minutes of play now.
Piantelli for Dover on court two. The uh, winner of this one will play the winner of that one between Pekin and Sen and, and Ponapa and Reddy. And it was the Dutch that came through 24 22, 21 12 in 39 minutes. So Pekin and Sen and through to their first ever semi final at the All England. Another hard fought rally again won by the Japanese now. Eight three. Just finding those slim margins, aren't they? The team in blue. Those edges. He has been very busy. Earning his keep today, that's for sure. Another long rally going their way. Well, they've been asked so many questions, haven't they, of late, Nine, the English team? Three. And uh, a couple of errors creeping in now. It's just so hard to keep that level of intensity that they came out of the gates with to win that opening game 21-14. So hard to sustain exactly that. And of course, the Japanese teams have changed it up tactically a number of times leaving them rhythm rhythmless. Well done, good forcing play with the aggressive clear from Lauren Smith. Four, nine. They've got to keep it tight, these two, haven't they? Cannot let the world number ones wriggle away too much. and uh, required a few beads of sweat from Chloe there gives them a chance momentarily to step off stage and just uh, regroup a bit of breathing room five points adrift the Japanese have won five of the last six and you have to credit them because they've just been admirable, haven't they? Under extreme pressure from the English. Managing to find a way as they've done so often over the years. The defending champions looking good now in game three. Four, nine. Play. <laughs> We're playing He's needed some attention today, hasn't he, the Japanese coach? A naughty schoolboy. He's on the naughty step there. He's being closely monitored. Five, nine. The defence from Birch here.
Silver. Again, the top seed so experienced managing to keep a, a nice cushion of five points between them and the English, keeping them at arm's length now. Good pace from Birch, just buckling for Cushino a little there. scoreline the Japanese in game two in game three again exactly the same 11-6 they head to the turn with that advantage it bode well in that second game which they won will it be a repeat of that suddenly looking a lot more comfortable on everybody's lips can Chloe Birch and Lauren Smith haul this back or will the team Japan run away with it they found in that opening game and that when you equate that and the fact that the Japanese have got better much tighter giving far fewer errors and misjudgments away on that smash from Hirota and apologetic afterwards as well ever humble and gracious and this had plenty of pop on it look at this closing down the net with every smash she hits Japanese enjoying the slightly faster 14, end. Seven, More pace on their attacks. More sting on what they're doing. No lucky break off the net there. round losers last year to Chloe and uh, Lauren managing to go one further this year to the quarterfinals can they extend their stay here and dig deep and find a way odds are slim right now given the scoreboard deficit of eight points but you never know it's pro sport and anything can happen it's landed right in the corner you know Seven. 
but it's been a very encouraging match for these two, irrespective of the result. Some great signs. They played some terrific badminton, particularly in that opening game. They'll learn from this, whatever happens. Some real positive takeaways. Just Nine, lift 17. them. Well, an hour and ten minutes they've been out there. It's been a terrific match to watch, hasn't it? Really uh, compelling and intriguing all the way. Can these two just find a little bit more to haul this back? You do sense the Japanese now setting sail for home, just four points away from the semi-final. of English points. Can they build even more? <laughs> Terrific. Throwing caution to the wind. All out aggression. Shuttle's fine, suggests Chloe. Japanese trying to stall for time. Oh, it's just gone long from Lauren Smith. That's a shame. Service over. Their run halts at four consecutive points. isn't he? <laughs> the fingers are going. <laughs> Every point. So hard from the sidelines, isn't it? When you've got such vested interest. Stern words from the Irish umpire. Seamus Halpin having no nonsense. Eight points have gone the English way, but is it a little too late? 
because these two with their six point cushion odds on favourites right now Seven match points saved. They've been gallant today, but I think this is a really tough ask now. Game. Yuki Fukushima and Sayaka Hirota of Japan, Survivor Scare, squeak past Birch and Smith and keep their title defense alive. Well, that was a nervy match for these two. The top seeds find a way, though, on what was a very tricky day against tough opponents. The spray will be applied. Okay, yes, sir. Coming through 14-21, 21-12, 21-14 in an hour and 16 minutes. That was really spellbinding to watch. Certainly the first game and a half. And then the level of the English just dropped a little. But credit to these two. They raised the bar, found that extra gear, and got it done. That was a terrific escapism from the top seats who go on. And how often do we see players that have been that severely tested then go on to retain the title? It happens a lot, doesn't it? But they really were tested severely today by the English. But, uh, it belongs to Fukushima and Hirota, who uh, head on to the semi-finals. And it'll be Pieck and Sinan of Netherlands who they'll meet in that semi-final, the world number 24s.
Well, the world number one women's doubles pairing showing their steel today, coming through somehow against Birch and Smith, who were rampant in that opening game, but unable to sustain it quite. Fukushima Hirota coming through 21-14 in the decider. They'll meet Pick and Senen of the Netherlands, who beat Panapa and Reddy in straight games. So what an opportunity there for the uh, Dutch. Unseeded they are, world number 24.